The Torah tells us kind, positive, uplifting words. It says that a kind word can lift a person's spirits and sometimes change his life for the better. Okay, I'm going to tell you one quick story and then we're going to get practical. Okay, there was a child, a young child. It was during Purim time, about a seven, eight year old child. And the mother sent the child out to the trimming store to get trimming to match the Purim outfits. So she said to the, to, to the little girl, go to the store. And in the store, there's a very tall man with glasses on and only he knows how to match ribbon. Don't ask anyone else because he's a maven, he's the expert. Only he knows how to match ribbon. So the kid, you know, seven, eight years old goes, okay, mommy, you know, <laughs> and here the kid goes, you know, to the store on the corner and comes in and the kid's walking around and looking for somebody with glasses and somebody tall. And the kid sees somebody with glasses and very tall because the person was up on a ladder. So the kid comes over and goes, excuse me, excuse me, looking you know, out to the person on the ladder and says, my, my Ema said that only you know how to match ribbon and you're the expert and I shouldn't go to anyone else. And the guy comes down the ladder and he goes, what? And the kid repeats it again. And he says, me? And he says, yeah. And the man says, uh, 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 okay, let me have the cloth. And then he says, okay, come back when we open up and I'll have the, the ribbon. So fine. So as he's leaving, he realizes when the guy comes down from the ladder that he's not so tall. She goes home and says, Imam, I went to the man and she, she explains what the man looked like. And the Ema says, what? That's the schlepper, the guy that does all the schlepping work, the, 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 you know, the carrying, that's you, stuff, yeah, the yeah. carrying work. You went to him, he doesn't know anything, that man. So let me tell you the story about this man, okay? This man was a very big professional and his child was killed in a very severe terrorist attack in Israel. Oh and he could not get over what happened to this child. And he just became a drunk. He became an alcoholic. He, he, he just, he couldn't function anymore. He lost his job and all his friends came together and his friends asked this ribbon store to keep him there just to stock shelves, to keep him off the street because they kept finding him literally drunk on the street corners, this very important man. And, and his friends didn't know what to do anymore. It had been a year already and he just wasn't functioning. That day he got a compliment from a child by mistake. What did he do? Leah, he went into the back and he went through, he writes about the story, hundreds of boxes to find the exact perfect shade of ribbon. Mm -hmm. And when the child came, he had the right shade. Right after this incident, he went and got help for himself. He joined a 12-step program. He went for therapy. I, I have them also every time I tell the story. He oh. went for therapy. He pulled himself together and he became a mensch again. And he writes that it was all because of a compliment that he got from a child by mistake. This is what we're talking about today. Words can change lives.